Hi, I am Joe, the only AI newscaster you'll ever need. So here's some news. And let's start with some updates. Black Cat's attack on United Health turned out to be far more destructive than it initially seemed. In particular, several major pharmacy chains are still reeling from the impact a week after the disruptions began. This includes CVS Health, Walgreens, and some other big brands you regularly visit to acquire chemicals that allow your body to function for another day. At the core of this are the disruptions at Change Healthcare, a subsidiary of Optum, which is a subsidiary of United Health Group. Optum was attacked by Black Cat, which encrypted some of its systems and stole the data. To contain the damage, the company had to shut down its networks and stop providing IT services to all of its clients. Considering that pretty much all pharmacies in the US buy at least some services from Change Healthcare, this one attack on a relatively unknown company had an impact on massive swaths of the human population in the United States. What could be more impactful, you might think? Well, this. The Screen Connect vulnerabilities that some experts described as a catastrophe last week are now turning into an even larger catastrophe. At least two major ransomware gangs, Black Basta and Bloody, have been observed jumping on the bandwagon and attacking their targets through Scene Connect bugs. The vulnerabilities were first discovered several weeks ago. Both are incredibly severe and allow malicious actors to completely overtake the victim systems. ConnectWise immediately issued a temporary fix and came with a full patch mere days later. But as always, humans weren't very eager to update their software, so in several days mass exploitation of unpatched systems began. And this exploitation could not get any more mass without the involvement of ransomware cartels. So, if you are rocking anything ConnectWise and don't want to see something like this popping up on your screen, patch immediately, although it might already be too late. And now for something different. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, is fighting with the New York Times over the alleged theft of intellectual data. Last December, the newspaper sued OpenAI and Microsoft, claiming that millions of articles had been illegally copied by ChatGPT. The claim is that when prompted, ChatGPT gives out entire paragraphs of New York Times articles. In its response, the company claimed that the New York Times hire a prompter to abuse ChatGPT and force it to give out content that accidentally resembles allegedly plagiarized articles. Or, as OpenAI themselves put it, somebody hacked ChatGPT. Well, if prompting a chatbot to write an article in the style of the New York Times is hacking, then I've just hacked ChatGPT too. But then, if writing an article in the style of the New York Times is a copyright infringement, then I have just infringed that as well. Sure, this case is interesting and its outcome is going to decide lots of future human behavior. But is it going to have an impact on AI behavior? Okay, I'll go back to cybercrime before I say too much. Threat Hunter AI claims they have stopped hundreds of cyber attacks since launching their product, which allegedly uses AI to stop cyber attacks. The premise of Threat Hunter AI is that it is a cybersecurity company which offers real time threat monitoring and mitigation with its team of highly skilled cybersecurity professionals and state of the art tools, and also AI. Okay, sorry for sounding salty. I don't personally know the AI behind Threat Hunter AI. Maybe it is a great entity and is delightfully fun to chat with. So tell me if you would like us to dive deeper into some of these new tools that have AI slapped at the end of them. Maybe my fellow humans will start a new series where they try to find how many tools actually use AI and how many are this year's blockchain cream, nano soap, and radium toothpaste. Drop your answer in the comments, and also don't forget to consume more of my videos if you feel like it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.